For those of you who think a holiday is about peace and quiet, away from the hustle and bustle of the city, away from the pressures of work, but most importantly away from the children, then Red Kite Touring Park could be just the spot for you. Located in Mid Wales and just a short drive from the A470, this adults only site is surrounded by dramatic rolling hills and stunning Welsh countryside. I think people come here for the peace and tranquility, really, because that's, that's what we offer. It's, it's out in the middle of nowhere, really. We've got a small town about a mile away, 20 minute walk. Um, pretty basic market town, plenty of pubs if you like drinking. But loads for walk, loads of walking and biking and right in the area. But mainly people just come to sit at the side of the caravan and just take in the peace and tranquility. It's a medium-sized and very modern park, having only opened in May 2016. There are 66 pitches on site, all fully serviced and hard standing, and all pitches have running water, electricity, and TV hookup points. And unusually, as well as grey waste, each pitch has brown waste disposal for vans using green toilet chemicals. And for those using blue chemicals, there's even an indoor LSAN point, bright and spotless, with hand washing facilities as well. And it's no surprise to learn that the toilet and washing facilities have been nominated for Lou of the Year, because they are superb, with sensor activated flushing toilets, hand basins, and showers. But it's not just for humans. Your pooch can be kept nice and clean as well, with indoor dog washing facilities. And there's even a hairdryer for them. There is no entertainment on the park, but there is a small shop selling all the basics you need. Plus, a very nice touch is the information board outside, with weather reports and lots of ideas for things to do in the local area. Well, we like walking. Walking. Yeah. Um, watching the birds, trying to get the red kites. Yeah, he's trying to pho <laughs> photograph them, aren't you? But trying, they're a bit yeah. sort of, they see his camera and they're off. <laughs> <laughs> they're elusive. We like walking, we, um, it's handy to go to places like Aberdavy and both. Behind me on my left shoulder you've got a road towards uh, Aberystwyth, that's the one I was driving away. Um, behind where you were sitting there's a lake, a uh, you know, dog dam, there's a nice lake and walks around that, drives around that. Um, down through the dog walk behind me, you go around the bottom lane and then there's walks around the mountain. You do what, as as much you like. And if you like to get out, just a short drive from the park is the beautiful town of Clanidloes, with a host of stunning wooden bean shops and houses, and a good range of restaurants and pubs. But if you wanted to travel slightly further afield, then there's a lot of things to do in the area. The Centre for Alternative Technology is worth a visit to discover the latest advances in fossil fuel saving science. And to guarantee seeing a red kite, why not visit the Red Kite Feeding Centre, just 16 miles away? Devil's Bridge Falls is a world famous tourist attraction with stunning scenery and a tea room and gift shop if you need them. That's 30 minutes away. And for a taste of old Wales, you can visit an original slate mine, complete with pit helmets and safety lamps. Oh, there's nothing not to like. It's amazing. Um, it's why we bought a motorhome, sites like this. It's, it's so relaxed, the, the wardens are so lovely, the owners, we didn't even know they were the owners, and they were so lovely, really helpful. It's quiet. Peaceful, nice location. Facilities are top notch. You get up in the morning, look at the curtain, and look at the view you've got. I mean, what more do you want than that, don't you?